Thank you, Chairman Durbin, Ranking Member Grassley, members of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and thank you for allowing me to uh, talk today. This issue is very personal to, to, personal to me, and I also would like to say happy uh, St. Patrick's Day to everyone. The most important thing in life is to be authentic. I think we all understand that. As a reminder, we already have freedom of religion in our Constitution, and this act does not discriminate against religion, as we all know. I want to tell you the story of our family because it is the story of millions of American families across this nation. More than five years ago, before she had transitioned, my daughter, at just 14 years old, had experienced deep depression and anxiety. Unable to identify the cause of her pain, she told her parents that the only two solutions she felt would solve it was either suicide or running away. I'll say that again. She was in such a spot, she felt that suicide or running away were the only options. Heartbroken but determined not to lose our child, we enrolled in a local day therapy program. One night after her program, my daughter perked up in her chair at the dinner table, excited to share some news. She told us she had figured it out. Mom, I'm not a boy. I'm a girl and my name is Evie Newman. Everything had clicked at that moment. She had been pretending to be something she wasn't. She wasn't being authentic. And as we all know, it is the hardest thing in the world to pretend every day. It was the happiest day of our lives. Our family was whole again. Still, as a mother, I knew the challenges ahead. My daughter would not grow up in a nation where, uh, as an example, in 25 states, she could be discriminated against merely because of who she was. That was upsetting to me. She could be thrown out of a restaurant. She could be evicted from her apartment. She could be denied access to education and denied health care just because of who she is. On, that, on top of that, the likelihood of facing hateful, vile attacks, and she has, verbal and physical, for simply existing and being her authentic self was almost a certainty. Signing the Equality Act into law isn't going to change that reality overnight. It absolutely will not. But it will ensure that Americans like my daughter are afforded the same civil rights already extended to every other American across the nation. And that's all it's about. It's about equality. We're not asking for anything special or different. Equality and nothing more. No American should have to live a lie. Imagine if I asked any of you on this uh, dais or uh, on the committee today to simply try being someone you absolutely are not to try being the opposite gender of the way you feel deeply. To try to be something that you are not every day is very difficult. Do this for a week, a month, a year, and I guarantee you will feel deep depression, great anxiety, and yes, even suicidal. If you pass this legislation, we can show millions of Americans that their government accepts them and will protect them for who they are. I encourage all of you to not weaponize religion and not weaponize red herrings about sports. And I also encourage you to talk to your faith leaders and your sports directors at all of your colleges, because I have talked to many of them and they encouraged me today and were excited that I was speaking out on this topic about my family. As I said in the beginning, being authentic to yourself and to everyone is the most important thing to do. Truth is real and should be a part of this act and it is. Thank you, and I'm here to help any of you in any way with any questions, privately or publicly. Happy to help, and I yield back and thank you. Thanks, Congresswoman Newman, for your testimony.